Hello everyone, it's Rochelle here. I thought it'd be really nice to do a mid-year reading check-in about all the books I've read so far this year. I'm going to tell you what I thought about them and I'm also going to do a mid-year book tag where I answer a bunch of bookish questions about all the books I've read so far this year. Just to highlight a few of the books that stood out to me. So my reading goal this year is actually 35 books and so far I read 20 books. So in terms of my progress in achieving my reading goal this year, I think it's going pretty well. I think I'm actually ahead by like three books or so. I'm really hoping I can continue this progress and be ahead of my reading goal or stay on track at least. Anyways, to begin this video, I'm first gonna tell you all the books I read so far this year. There's quite a few books, so I'm gonna give you like a one sentence review of what I thought about it and I'm gonna also tell you what I rated it. Okay, so the first book I read is Never Let Me Go by Kazu Ishiguro. This was a sci-fi dystopian read and it was so slow. I'm not a fan of slow books, so it was so slow for me that I just couldn't even follow the story. I just got bored so I gave this book two stars. The next book is The Alchemist. It was very inspiring and had a lot of beautiful, nice quotes. For it being a classic and a genre I haven't really branched out into reading yet, I enjoyed it, so I rated this book 3.5 stars. The next book is Rock, Paper, Scissors by Alice Feeney. This book is a mystery thriller that reads really fast. It keeps you on the edge of the sea. It's really intense. A lot of things happen. I was never really bored while reading this book. I could not predict what happened at the end of the book, so I really, really enjoyed it, so I gave this book five stars. The next book I read is Forever Interrupted by Taylor Jenkins Reid. This book is a romance, but it doesn't read like any other romances. By that, I mean the two love interests do not end up together at the end of the book. The book starts off with the two love interests being together, but the husband dies early on, so it leaves his wife a widow, and throughout the book, she basically comes to terms with the death of her husband. I guess you can say this book is kind of more like a love story with yourself and what you can get, even when tragedy happens within a marriage. Because this book was so different from any other romance, I loved it, and I gave this book four stars. The next book I read is Daisy Jones and the Six by Taylor Jenkins Reid. I enjoyed this book, but out of all the historical fiction novels TJR has written, this one was probably my least favorite. It was a good story and it was written beautifully, but I'm just not a huge rock music fan, so I really couldn't connect with the characters in the story. What I love about most TJR stories is how I can connect to them in some way, but with this one, I just couldn't do it. However, because I still enjoyed reading the book, I gave this book a 4.5 star rating. The next book I read was the Beartown series. This book is actually a three book series, but I only read the first two books. So so I read Beartown and Us Against You. With the Beartown series, I'd say the writing is really beautiful, but it does take its time to review the plot. It's not a slow read by all means, it's more like a medium paced story. But with both of these books though, I'd say you have to read a good chunk, probably at least 100 pages, before we get to that part of the book that keeps you wanting more. I will say that this series is really sad. The first book, there's an event that happens, it's super sad, and the second book really just focuses on the aftermath of what happened in the first book. I gave Beartown 4.5 stars and Us Against You 3 stars. The next book I read is The Guest List. I absolutely did not enjoy this book, so I would not recommend it. It is a mystery thriller, but it was so slow. I don't really like slow mystery thrillers because I feel like there's just not enough tension. I will say that there is a lot of drama in this book, but the drama was just petty. Basically, everybody in this story had something against another person, which made them a possible suspect of a murder. Really, all the petty drama made this a really unsatisfying read for me, and I just couldn't care for any of the characters. So I gave this book a one-star rating. The next book I read is Crying in H Mart. Growing up as a Chinese Canadian individual living in Canada, I found that I could relate to the author in a lot of ways, and at times I could understand how she felt. But the more of this book I read, it felt like the author was writing this book to heal and come to terms with her mother's death. It was a great memoir, but I just didn't expect it. Therefore, I gave this book three stars. The next book I read is The Silent Patient. It's a mystery thriller that got a lot of hype, and I can confirm that it deserves all the hype because it was so good. This was another mystery thriller that kept me on the edge of my seat and I could not stop turning the page because it was just so interesting and I just need to know what happened. There was a lot of tension and I could not predict what would happen and when I found out what happened, it just blew my mind away. I gave this book five stars. The next book I read was Skyward. I don't think I can properly tell you what my thoughts are on this book because I didn't finish it. I did not this book because I realized sci-fi books just really aren't for me. This book does have amazing reviews and Brandon Sanderson is praised for his writing so I feel like this book definitely can be an amazing read but it just wasn't for me. The next book I read is Happy Place by Emily Henry. This is a romance slash literary fiction novel. I really love how this book alternated timelines between past and present. You really get to see how this couple started off as friends, got together, broke up, and then got back together in the present day. This book not only felt like a love story between the two love interests, but it also felt like a love story between a group of friends. And that was another fact that I really, really liked in the book. So I gave this book a 4.25 star rating. The next few books I read were all four books of the Magnolia Parks universe 
series. I absolutely love all of these books so freaking much. When you're reading all of these books, it feels like you're watching a British version of Gossip Girl. So all the relationships you read about are so toxic, but it has that addicting factor that it's so good that you just want to keep reading about these relationships. All of these books were page turners. I read them so fast. I never found myself bored reading any of these books. The first book, Magnolia Parks, I gave five stars. The second book, Daisy Hates, I gave four stars. The third book, Magnolia Parks, The Long Way Home, I gave a 4.5 stars. And the last book, Daisy Hates and the Great Undoing, I gave it five stars. The next book I read was Meet Me at the Lake. This is a romance novel. I enjoyed this book. It was a really nice summer romance. I just found the characters really likable and I could really feel for them. So I gave this book a 4.25 star rating. The next book I read is All About Love. This is a nonfiction read. I found this book really helpful because it did help me understand some parts of my life. Some of those parts of my life were quite sad and dark and it really just helped me see the love in those parts of my life. I gave this book four stars. The next book I read is Beautiful World, Where Are You? This book was definitely not what I expected. This book was surprisingly very spiritual. It started discussing religion and something I did not expect at all. This book isn't a bad read by all means, but at some points while reading this book, I just didn't know what I was reading. So because of that, I gave this book three stars. The next book I read was Factory Girls. I didn't actually finish this book. I've honestly never DNF'd a book this fast in my entire life. The chapters of this book were way too long. I kid you not, every chapter is at least 30 pages long. And the way the dialogue was written was quite annoying that it made the characters unlikable. The next book I read was To All the Boys I Loved Before by Jenny Han. This is a YE romance. I thought it was cute and I enjoyed reading it, but it just felt too much of a YA read to me. To this day, I still find joy in reading YA books, but the writing style in this book just felt extra YA, if that makes any sense. But again, overall, the story was a cute one, so I gave this book three stars. The last book I read this year so far was Apples Never Fall. This book is a mystery thriller novel. The mystery part of this book was definitely a surprise, but I just didn't like where the story went. For me, what makes a good mystery thriller is something that blows my mind and something that I would never expect. This book, though, there was a lot of tension. Things happened in this book. But when I finished this book, I kind of felt like, oh, Okay, that's it. That was honestly my exact reaction and I was definitely not mind blown. So I gave this book three stars. Moving on to my mid-year book tag. The first question is, what is the best book you've read so far in 2023? And for this question, I have two picks. The first pick is Magnolia Parks and all the books in the series. I don't think I've ever read a book that beats how addicting this series was. That's just how good this book and series were in my opinion. One of the other best books I've read this year was The Silent Patient. This mystery thriller kept me on the edge of my seat and there was no point while reading this book where I felt like I could predict what would happen. And when I found out what happened and blew my mind away. The next question is what is the best sequel you've read in 2023? So I actually haven't read that many series this year so far. I think in total I've only read about two series so I really don't have much of a selection but out of all the series I've read so far the best sequel has got to be Daisy Hates. You already know how much I love all the books in the Magnolia Parks universe. To talk about why I love this book I'd just be repeating myself. The next question is what are new releases you haven't read yet but want to? For this question, I have two picks. The first pick I have is Yellow Face. I'm so excited for this book and I cannot wait to read it. I think I'm gonna pick up this book next after I finish my current book. I also want to read Fourth Wing. This book pretty much blew up the internet. I want to buy a physical copy of this book, but I just can't because it's sold out everywhere. I feel like it's going to be a little while until I get to read this book. I guess I'll be waiting until I can get my hands on a copy of this book. The next question is, who is your newest fictional crush? And I'd have to say that is Julian from Daisy Hates the Great Undoing. All I can say is that you just have to read this book and the entire series to know why I love Julian so much. While reading the first few books of this series, I didn't think I would love Julian that much, but this book, Oh my god, this book is the book that made me fall in love with him. That is all I'm gonna say, so you really have to read this book in series to find out more. The next one is a book that made you happy, and for me that'd be Happy Place. This book definitely put a smile on my face, and when I finished the book, it definitely felt like a full circle moment. It was just a very wholesome read. The next question is what is the most beautiful book you've bought so far this year? And for me that would definitely be Magnolia Parks, The Long Way Home. Actually, all the books in the series, their covers are so beautiful, but I'm sad because as as I'm filming this video, the new covers have just been released. And in my honest opinion, the new covers are quite ugly. For reference, these are the new covers. And 
I do not like them at all. The next question is what books you need to read by the end of the year. I have so many books that I need to read by the end of the year, but to select a few, I'd say The Fine Print and the whole Dreamland Billionaire series. I've seen these books all over Book Talk and BookTube, and it's just pushed me to read them, and also the covers are super nice as well. So I really just want to read these by the end of the year. By the end of the year, I also want to read I'm Glad My Mom Died by Jeanette McCurdy. I haven't gotten a physical copy of this book yet, but I will be getting one. I'm really excited to read this book. It's been on my TBR for a while. I'm actually hoping to read this book soon within the next few months. All right, guys, that is the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed this mid-year book tag and just hearing a little bit about all the books I've read so far this year. If you have read any of these books I listed in this video, let me know your thoughts on them in the comments down below. I would love to hear what you think and if you want also comment down below what you're currently reading i guess with that i will see you guys in my next video before i go though be sure to follow me on all my social media profiles if you want to stay up to date with what i'm doing i will have all the links to my social media profiles in the description box below also if you guys haven't already done so be sure to subscribe to my channel click the bell icon to stay up to date of when and what i post and give this video a thumbs up and with that i will see you guys in the next one bye Pull the key out the ignition Run your mouth but I'll never listen You hold me back, we'll never last Keep talking all your shit Wondering how all this started You left me broken hearted You flip my words, yeah this love hurts Keep talking all your shit